I was married for 35 years. I had sex with my husband, but I was not an equal partner. I was a piece of furniture, something to be used to have babies, and I was also a servant, a housekeeper, and a babysitter 24-7. But then one day I figured out how to enjoy sex with my husband. I started to become myself. I started doing things just for me. But just when I figured it out, he put terms on it. If you do this, if you do that, but I was never good enough, no matter what I did. So I wondered if I allowed this or caused it, but I realized that we had laws and rules that made me his slave. Those rules have changed over the years, but they haven't changed everywhere in the world. When he died, I said I would not cry, but I did. I cried just for an instant. I cried for a life that had generally marched by with so little joy. This morning, I heard about the women in Afghanistan on TV. The government wanted to take away their rights as women and make them slaves to their husbands. Mandatory sex every four days, and their husband would own them. It was almost too much for me to listen to it because I had been there but here in Canada, I experienced almost the same thing. And I learned to be with myself, and my expectation is with me. And I try to live now, right in the now, and every day is a learning. And I don't know where it is leading, but we women here in Canada are the lucky ones.